Hi guys, Shane here, Oz Flight Simmer. Welcome to another video. There has been a one feature that has been a staple feature in all the other previous flight sims, but didn't make this one when it comes to the launch of Microsoft Flight Simulator back all the way in August, and that is the replay feature. In this video, we're going to take a look and see what Asobo is doing about the replay feature, and have other third-party developers beaten Asobo to the punch when it comes all things replay. Welcome to another Microsoft Flight Simulator video. Now, if you haven't seen one of these before, this is where we bring you all the news, updates, developments, and insights when it comes to the development of Microsoft Flight Simulator. So if you're lazy like me and don't want to troll the internet to get all the news, this video is for you. So hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so that when you know when our next uh, stream or when our next video goes live. Microsoft Flight Simulator's replay system never made it to the sim at launch. Five months on from the release of the new uh, sim, the development of this feature is still in the prototype stage. This is what the Asobo team had mentioned in the last about the replay system back on December 4th with the development Q&A. And I think probably the most, question, most asked question in chat today is about the replay functionality. So I don't know if anyone wants to address um, an update on how that's going? I mean, I can say one thing. So um, sure. um, we have had a team working on that for quite a while. So the number pri one priority we had was our internal needs because we are making a lot of videos and our video team was also having requests and, and uh, some stutters at some point. Uh, so that was now just solved uh, a, few, a few weeks ago and uh, helped a lot make the, the videos for the UK update. Um, and so that being behind us, we can now focus on, on adding a replay feature. Our, our inter initial goal is to have something simple. Um, I think what's trying to focus on what people need most, um, and it's going to be record and uh, play. And so, yeah, we're not going to make a full system with timelines and, and etc. But our priority is to get something stutter free, just like the, the video team has. Um, and so um, currently we're working on it. And uh, we don't have a release date yet, but it's on one of our uh, one of our uh, one of our upcoming tasks. I guess the good news is that the replay system is in development, and on the current wishlist snapshot, we can see that the replay system should hit our sims sometime in 2021. But what if you can't wait that long? There are a couple of third-party developers that have beaten the Microsoft team to the punch when it comes to the replay system. Both are payware options, and are they good enough? to be placeholders until the Asobo team have their own version out, or will they be a better option? Let's take a look at them. The first one being a flight control replay. It's not new and it has been around for a while when it comes to the other sims, such as prepared versions 1 through to 5 and FSX. Flight control replay is currently in closed beta 2 for Microsoft Flight Simulator, but it should be released soon. This utility can handle all your replay needs on all aircraft, including all the control surfaces and animated services such as retractable landing gear, flaps, etc. The replay itself seems smooth and it surpasses the default replay functions on other sims such as P3D or FSX. The UI that includes seems functional and basic. Everything seems to be there such as a rewind, play, slow mode, speed up, but it all looks a little bit outdated when it comes to the UI, something from the early 2000s. I would believe in my opinion this seems to be a little bit up outdated and for a payware product um, this is a must to have a good uh, UI. Flight Control Replay have mentioned they are looking at supporting VR sometime in the future, but no official time frame at this stage. Flight Control Replay, you will be able to purchase it from the Sim Market Store for about 15 euros. No ETA on the release date, but it should be pretty soon. The next third party replay utility we are taking a look at is FS Playground. This replay system is available now and currently working with Microsoft Flight Simulator. FS Playground, a game, is a third-party replay system. The utility itself sits outside or on top of the sim and will function from a second or third screen. 
Again, you have all the functions of a replay system here, including a replay, pause, play, slow motion, fast forward, and pause on touchdown. The replay function itself is a very smooth, and again, all the control surfaces and animated surfaces will be shown in the replay mode. FSS Playgrounds gives you the option to nail that perfect landing, then you can actually change the weather and change the time so you look like you're a pro pilot flying through a snow blizzard or some sort of a bad weather. Some of the other features included with FS Playgrounds is a landing rate system callout combined with a memory position system. You can move anywhere in the world without exiting to the main menu with save airport locations and also has a position library. The UI has two options. One is the main menu that has all the options and the bells and whistles available and the other is just a replay function minimizer that sits on top of the simulator, which is very much like the X-Plane and more suited to 2020 in my opinion. Opinion. The developer mentions that FS Playground has existed for many years on their own hard drives, but now it's time to release to the world to see. FS Playground is available now for €19.99 Euros directly from their website. I will leave a link in the description below. It's going to be a very interesting to see what the Asobo team come up with when it comes to them creating a replay system within the sim. Obviously, what we can see from these utilities is that the sim will handle replay very, very easy, but what features will they include? And will it have other different camera options that you can mess around with or tools? For one, I'm very excited to see what they come up with, but for now, this is what we have to offer, and who knows, these might be better than what Asobo do. But interesting, and of course, we will keep you posted with all the news and developments when it comes to any replay system within the sim itself. If you like this video, thank you very much please hit that blue thumbs up button as it really helps out the video and if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with all the latest Microsoft Flight Simulator news insights and developments please hit that subscribe button I'm gonna leave you guys with a basic landing and a cool cinematic you can put together in five minutes when you have a replay function in the sim